Soldiers, welcome to the Military Weapon Conference. Today's topic is HBRA-3, a fast assault rifle with good accuracy. It was a pay-to-win weapon, and immediately got nerfed, once its free version was released. So is HBRA-3 still a top-tier weapon? Let's find out. In this video, I'm gonna show you the best loadout of HBRA-3 for both MP and VR. Stay tuned, don't blink, peace. HBRA-3 is a really good assault rifle that was introduced in Season 4. It has high damage, quick fire rate, and really good accuracy. The gun has low recoil and can shoot long range as well. Overall a competitive assault rifle that is easy to use. The HBR is very similar to AK-117 in every aspect, so which one is better to use? Well, let me show you the weapon stats first. HBR is a fast assault rifle. It has a high fire rate which is slightly lower than AK-117. By default, it has 30 bullets in the magazine with a fire rate of 692 rounds per minute. On the other hand, AK-117 has the highest fire rate of 711 rounds per minute. Among all assault rifles, the reload time is 2.3 seconds, and ADS speed is 284 milliseconds, which is faster than most assault rifles. The drop time is around 167 milliseconds, which is crazy fast, and the raise time is around 534 milliseconds, which is below the average. Drop time is calculated when switching the weapon to another weapon. Raise time is calculated when switching it back. Basically, they indicate how long it takes to switch the weapon. So it is quick to switch HBR to another weapon, but slow to switch it back. Now let's take a look at the damage and range of this weapon, to see how it performs in terms of time to kill. HBR is a high fire rate assault rifle with good damage. The damage and range are very similar to its competitor, AK-117. These are the stats of the default HBR. It deals 26 damage up to 10 meters, 22 damage from 11 to 25 meters, 17 damage from 26 to 37 meters, and 16 damage over 37 meters. The time to kill figures is not impressive, while it is still an efficient and easy to use weapon. The head multiplier is only 1.1, which is the lowest among all assault rifles. Basically, if the bullet hits the body it deals normal damage. If the bullet hits the head, it deals 1.1 times normal damage. So there is no need to aim for headshots with HBR. HBR deals decent damage in close range. It can four shots to kill the enemy within 10 meters. However, the damage drops significantly along with the range. So you can see, the main strength of HBR is not the longer range fight, rather the close range gunfights. In MP, you can laser your enemy with this weapon in close range. In BR, with the right attachments, it is still a viable weapon to use, thanks to its good accuracy and easy to control recoil. As I said, HBR is very similar to AK-117 in all aspects. They both have quick fire rate, good accuracy, and vertical recoil. So which one is better? Which one should we pick? Let's break down the damage and range figures of these two weapons, and compare them first. As you can see from the chart, AK-117 beats HBR in all ranges, in terms of time to kill, even though the difference is very little, AK-117 is still the winner here. On the other hand, HBR has a better cover of range. Its close and mid-range are both further than AK-117. So HBR is the winner in 4 to 10 meters, and 21 to 25 meters. Now, let me show you the best loadout of HBR for MP. For this MP build, we are targeting the mobility to maximize the ADS speed. First, we choose the light barrel, which improves the weapon ADS speed by 33 milliseconds. We then use the no stock to boost ADS speed again. However, it has a huge impact on weapon accuracy and recoil. You can use the skeleton stock instead, if you have a concern about controlling the weapon. Next, we will add the fast extended mag. 
it not only provides more ammo to the weapon, but also decreases the reload time from 2.3 seconds to 1.9 seconds. This is extremely useful in a close range fight in MP. To finish up the build, we will add the tactical laser and granulated grip tape, to further improve the accuracy and ADS speed. You can also use the rubberized grip tape for better control of the weapon. Here goes our MP build, let's see how it performs against the default HBR. First of all, let's test the ADS speed. The weapon ADS speed is 50 milliseconds faster, comparing to the default ADS speed. The HBR is a fast weapon by default, this will make it even faster. Okay, before we going forward, let's take a break here. Please do consider subscribing to this channel with the notification on. I post epic gameplay videos, tips and tricks videos, and gunsmith videos every two days. Now let's move on. Next, let's compare the recoil patterns. As you can see, the recoil of HBR is mostly vertical, which is easy to control. So in this mobility build, we sacrifice vertical recoil for better accuracy, and fast ADS speed. You probably heard many times, that vertical recoil is easy to control, just pull down your aim. Is that true? Yes, but not exactly. Pull your finger down while shooting is the way to control vertical recoil, and it works quite well on weapons with primarily vertical recoil, like the HBR. It does require some practice though, since different weapons, even different loadouts will end with up different vertical recoil. To sum up, this is a mobility build with a fast extended mag, specially designed for MP. It improves the accuracy and ADS speed of the weapon, at the cost of vertical recoil. Now let's move on to the BR build. For BR games, as most of the fights are at range, we will maximize the damage range to make the weapon more practical in BR. We start by applying the Ranger Barrel, which boosts the damage range by 30% while also improving the horizontal recoil and ADS accuracy. To increase the range even further, we use the monolithic suppressor, which gives us a 25% range increase. The silenced fire, that the monolithic suppressor provided is also useful in BR. However, the downside is also severe, there is a huge impact on mobility. So if you care about mobility, use a strike foregrip instead. The result of the range increase is significant. It increases the 4 shots kill range from 10 meters to 15 meters, 5 shots kill range from 25 meters to 37 meters, and 6 shots kill range from 37 meters to 55 meters. Next, we choose the steady stock for its flinch stability and horizontal recoil improvement. The rest of the attachments are identical to the MP build, as this build didn't include the extended mag, it is always recommended to get an extended mag mod in BR. This is our BR build, let's see how it performs against the default HBR. First of all, let's test the ADS speed. We sacrifice mobility for a longer range, so ADS speed is slower than default as expected. It's not a big issue in BR though. Soldiers, it's time to get your shit together, and start training. Click the link in description to join our battlefield in Discord, let's grow together. We give away free CP on daily basis, we also host tournaments with real prize, make sure you don't miss it. Next, let's compare the recoil patterns. As you can see, the recoil pattern is almost identical to the default, except the bullet spread accuracy is better.
Last but not least, let's check the damage range improvement. On the left side is the default HBR, on the right side is the BR range build. Clearly, the effective kill range is increased by 50%, which is ideal for BR game. To sum up, this is a maximum range build with better accuracy, specially designed for BR. It provides suppressed fire, good accuracy, and max damage range of the weapon. Overall, HBR is not a bad choice in BR, similar to its competitor, AK-117. Soldiers, our session ends here today. Hope you enjoy the weapon discussion and different loadouts that I presented in this video. And if you did, please do leave a like, and comments below. Subscribe with notification on, so you won't miss out on my future tips and tricks videos. Share this video for supporting this channel, and for appreciating my hard work. I will see you again in our next mission, until then, stay safe, peace out.